Da, 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 da. We'll have a left. I did not brush my hair this morning. It looks terrible. There's birds everywhere. What is with that massive flock? I bet they're starlings. They always tend to uh, fly around in big flocks. Hey, there's that guy. He's a bit odd. Feed the birds. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Top and sabag. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Hey, Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet, and I can feel the animals waking up with me. Snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Talk later. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Okay, he's a little weird, but he seems to be okay, I guess. Oh, who's that there? Oh, that's one of her, that's one of the bitch posse, isn't it? Why did you draw on the tree? Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch, Taylor. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Well, let's see what she has to say, and if we don't like it, we can always rewind and ignore Hi, her. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? That's not I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Uh, Kate's video? Victoria, never mind. Uh, Kate's video. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Wow. Never mind, Taylor. That was a great talk, Max. Let's not do it again. Now, if you'll excuse me. What a cast iron bitch. Let's just leave and not talk to anyone else. Screw you all. Max, come on over here. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Warren. Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. He's waiting for you. Is that a block of wood that says meow? Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Seriously, please, no. That was intense. That was intense. Everything happens so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. I like You're a show. real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Uh, Chloe Price is a pirate. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Um, don't get involved. He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Good old Charlton Heston 1970s ones. Go take the bus. Get your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! <laughs> I've not seen it, I just know the, like, the two lines from it. You blew it all to hell! That's an American football thingamabob. I know that. It looks different. Me talking different. to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something, this has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. 
or both. Okay, the statue of that guy. Go, big bird! Oh, it's that guy with the photos that we were trying to look at the other day. The other time? Other day. The other day! Just putting headphones in. Oh, he's wandered off. It's a seagull! Was that a Chinese food place that just went past? Seagulls are everywhere. Rental services, rental space available. A liquor store? Petrol station. Ooh, boats. John's appliances. Where is this taking us? Yeah, that is that guy that I was thinking of. Juliet behind us. I think I recognise those shorts. Oh no, that's a that was a guy. There. <laughs> nice pink shorts guy. That bus seems a bit too big to be going down these tiny streets. I do have to say. There's the lighthouse again. going on now. It's all going black. I can see my awful hair in the in my computer screen. It's a flying V. Oh yeah, we're at the two whales. Oh that spells out bat. That's awesome. Blackwell Academy Transportation. It's the Bat Bus! <laughs> I wonder how other, many other people have made that association. <laughs> to the Bat Bus Mobile! Oh, my head, I know! Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Save our city. Can we? Fisherman. Ooh, we can talk to the fisher guy. Look at the books. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. You're reading them. Look at. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Arr. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Uh, your own boat? You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Tells me a lot. They own my school. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but... I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Chloe, yep, we're coming, Chloe. We're coming. Uh, running late, grab a booth at Dinah, Mom will feed you. Someone better, I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. <laughs> Hello, how do you do? I don't know, why are you asking me these difficult questions? Why can't I move? Okay, somehow... What the hell, why did my controller just suddenly change? Door open. So 
actually Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. What will Pan welcome to Pan Estates. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods. Affordable luxury homes, ocean and lighthouse views coming soon to change the way you live. Ew, no thank you. Oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. I would love to try to carve a pumpkin one day. Dude, cop. Dude. Trucker, trucker, other dude. <laughs> Food counter. Drool. Want everything. Oh, there's a jukebox. Uh, Wall of Fame, look out. I got you, babe? <laughs> How apropos, but no fucking way. Is this in the Wall of Fame? <laughs> Forgot about the fishing Wall of Fame. Wow, that is a massive fish. Chinook salmon, white sturgeon, steelhead trout. Oh, there's uh, it's Chloe's mum. We'll go talk to her. What was that? Ah, oh, leaflets of, of things and gumball. Let's get some gum. Gum, 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 gum. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Oh, maybe not. That, sound, that sounds kind of gross. Post cards. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. It's a kitty! Oh. Right, how do we talk to her? Do we just grab a booth? Trevor. And Justin. Oh, here we go, booth. Sit. Oops, went past it. Two waitresses in places like that way here. Do you think they were flats? And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. Not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. I heard the whole sordid story from David. Oh, God. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. I think Chloe understands, but, uh, well, uh, X or B, X or B. Just close my eyes and press one. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. Oh, but you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Um, I did. David scared me. David scared me! David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. 
But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Uh, he cares about Kate Marsh. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Pancakes. Oh, bacon omelette or Belgian waffle? Bacon omelette. I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. Now finish your coffee. Finish your coffee. Oops, something weird is going on, it looks like. One bacon omelet for the young lady stat. Bacon at 12 o'clock hot. Nerd graffiti. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Okay, uh, look. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Three dollars for be for bacon? Read so I can get closer to that. Two well saying I'm home still cooking. That is quite expensive for just some bacon. So toast, coffee, Arcadia Bay roast. Ask about our daily specials. Various soda. Fresh orange juice. Milk. Over you would like that place then. Actually quite a lot of people on DV would I'm the only one that doesn't really like to drink milk. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. Looks I keep like going back in time. Stick with the bacon. There is a guy that I don't like the looks of. Look out Order the window. Ready. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Incoming! Incoming bacon. Give me my bacon omelet, lady. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. And speak, speak of the devil. Of the devil. <laughs> It's Chloe, ladies and gentlemen. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? I don't know. I can't hear it. She now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. What do you have in your pockets? How many joints are in there? Okay, Max. Impress me. Um, right. Chewing gum. Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Please not the gun. Please not the gun. So that was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. So. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. K 
Okay, a little cow thing, some cigarettes, um, and money. And a warning ticket, a uh, parking bay ticket. Okay. So, parking ticket, money, cigarettes, cute little keychain. Telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Uh, cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh god, I didn't count. Um, seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. I think it was a cow? Uh, it was a panda, I think panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? A uh, parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? I didn't look at that. No shit. Um... Uh, um, Adam, um, uh. 11, 10 a.m.? That is so wrong. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. I'll be. Right, look. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Robot Panda. That was seven. I somehow got that right. Uh, that's... Fifteen cents? Oh, quarter to, oh god, I don't, I'm gonna have to write this down. Where is a bit of plain paper? I've got none, I'm gonna have to write on the back of my Orient ticket. Uh, so that's fifty cents. Five cents. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is six, 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 sixty, sixty-one cents in change, I think. Yes. Uh, I don't know why I'm using my mouse. And uh, next. Close. Uh, 10.34. Okay. Back. And rewind. Do this all again. Advance, advance, advance. Skip it. I'm hella ready. Hella ready. Okay, uh, cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on. Yes, you know Skip. I'm a smoker. But Skip, uh, seven. Seven cigarettes. Skip. A superpower that. Amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oops. I didn't mean to press that. Okay, keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, you have a panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? And you had a parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Uh, that one. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? You have... Oh, what? My, my thing wasn't even on there. Oh, God. You don't have 25 cents. You have more than that. You, I counted 61, but I could be wrong. And uh, 25 cents. 25 cents. You lose. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Uh, skip. Oh. Okay, what the hell? I can't be in two places at once. Just get that, okay. 
How do I get out of this? Nope. Oh, I've frozen it again. Bugger. How do I get out of this? This is rubbish. Okay, I'm going to have to bring you guys back. Right, hopefully this doesn't keep happening every single time we do this. So we're going to go with money first this time. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? You have 86 cents. Because I missed 86 one of the cents. quarters. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Uh, you have cigarettes? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? You have seven. Seven cigarettes. Seven. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. You have panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? And finally, a parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! There you go, you're amazed. Mummy balls! I literally just got chills all over my neck! Maybe if you had longer hair? <laughs> you have powers! Yep. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. You definitely do howl and whine a lot. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Right. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. She waves. Oops! Oh. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Okay, guessing I can rewind now? I don't want to break the game again. That's the best song I've Pretty heard Pretty sure yet. the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Speak. Speak, woman. Predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, cop trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Um, alert on the cop's radio and he leaves. And his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Um... And uh, Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good! Can't wait to see what happens! Uh, the jukebox goes crazy as Trucker plays a new song. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I didn't see what actually happened with the jukebox. Did the butterfly actually get in here again? 
Oops. Dude, you Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I dick. think not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, it was a cockroach. I did not see that. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So I've got to rewind again. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Here we go. Again. Speak. Speak, woman. I predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. I kind of suck at remembering the time or anything. Uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug. So, what happens next? Uh, alert and cops radio and he leaves and he, his partner leaves and he answers. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Uh, Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. We have to get exactly all right. Uh, cockroach crawls on it. Ew. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Then can we just get on with this? This is taking forever. Our breakfast is going cold. Oops. Did, Did you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. No soup for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Damn. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Then there goes the cockroach. Come on, I got one wrong. Fucking A. Hey. Sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Yeah, 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 yeah. So right. what Last are you time. waiting for? Last time. Now I should rewind and tell Chloe yep, yep, everything yep, yep. That just happened. I know, I know, I know. Partner leaves. It's the only thing I keep getting wrong because I don't look out the window in time. Speak. Skip. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and... So, what happens next? Uh, his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how... Joy stops them. Justin and Trevor are fine. This is getting good. Can't wait. Skip and cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like, like you, said. you said. Yeah, it does. This time I got it right, third time lucky, as per usual. And that time I didn't break the game again. Seems to be a little tradition I've got going on. Oops. Here. Did you break another cup? Oh, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off, but he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. <laughs> you predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This in a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw it that! Like your of brain. course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. I you need a sidekick to guide happen. you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. I 
figured something like that might happen. That the more Chloe she uses that power. Chloe finally believes me, and I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. We look at them. Justin is such a mellow dude. Dude. 